Our work with uh, with the human rights field was not easy at all. Uh, we went through many many challenges and many difficulties in uh, the uh, two last uh, last decades. Uh, challenges because the political will of the uh, oppressive regimes was against human rights in general, uh, and it was challenging really to uh, to work in a very hostile uh, environment. And uh, for for me and for my my friends from the, this uh, the Arab Human Rights Movement, we uh, we've been uh, we faced many many uh, many problems dealing with the security uh, uh, institutions, dealing with the uh, uh, the political uh, ruling parties. Uh, it was this was kind of challenges for us. The second uh, big challenge was about the culture our culture and um, it was it was not easy to uh, introduce human rights concepts uh, the universality of human rights concepts in uh, in our region and the resistance was not only the resistance of ordinary people it was also the resistance of the uh, some uh, representatives of the elites in the arab uh, countries and i think that uh, it was very difficult to um, to convince some uh, uh, representatives of political parties, of uh, uh, even some uh, writers to convince them of the University of Human Rights because of the legacy uh, of the political uh, political discourse, discourse based on the nationalism uh, and also on the uh, uh, closed, uh, closed and uh, uh, cl closed uh, uh, discourses, political uh, political discourses. These are the kind of challenges we faced, and and also it, we we've been under attack, under attack for our relations with the international networks, human rights networks, uh, under attacks for our uh, um, uh, our work to develop networks between human rights activists uh, from uh, the Arab. Uh, countries and African uh, and African countries but in spite of all these of all these problems I think that the Arab uh, human rights movement uh, succeeded to uh, to develop to have some achievements to achieve some I think some uh, important uh, success first uh, to introduce the human rights uh, culture uh, in the Arab uh, Arab countries and to challenge, to challenge the uh, political, social, and cultural discourses based mainly on uh, authoritarian, uh, authoritarian uh, concepts and authoritarian practices. And I think that we succeeded, for example, to challenge all these discourses by introducing the right of women's rights, uh, by uh, developing uh, work about minorities, about uh, the personal rights. This was a real challenge for for us, but I think we achieved a kind of um, education uh, um, education activities. The second, I think, big achievement was to uh, to challenge the uh, to analyze the mechanisms of authoritarian regimes and to uh, demonstrate demonstrate. Uh, that these regimes are not uh, uh, are not so um, uh, so solid, and that we can challenge them. We can challenge them uh, through developing civil society organizations, uh, through developing the uh, political uh, culture within the uh, trade unions with the political parties. This also was part of what we achieved. I think the third thing also was to to resist. This was the one of the main achievements to resist, to survive, and uh, I think that we developed, uh, we we spent a lot of time developing strategies, uh, tactics on how to survive, how to uh, uh, how to protect our organizations, um, how to uh, uh, develop some. Uh, relationships with, with normal people and uh, make people protect our work, believe in our work and protect, uh, protect our work. I think that this kind of achievements, uh, of course, we've been always faced by 
a kind of discourse trying to tell people that we are just uh, uh, a group of people working on uh, very uh, uh, on f uh, foreign ideas and strange ideas for our societies but the uh, revolutions in the Arab countries and what all these kind of uh, waves of, uh, of change I think that demonstrate that uh, the human rights our work was not strange to our uh, to societies and that we we um, demonstrated that the human rights culture the human rights concepts the democratic concepts are not strange to our uh, societies